How does blood pressure predispose somebody to have a heart attack? Yeah, and, and it's all the blood vessels in the body. So it predisposes you from having stroke, or it predisposes you to kidney damage due to blood vessel involvement in that, as well as heart attack. So you're, you're protecting a lot, you know, a lot of organs other than just the heart by blood pressure control. But it's tension. It's, it's you know, over time under a high pressure, the vessels can give out, weaken promotes atherosclerosis or that cholesterol buildup. And hardening walls. of the arteries, exactly. the stiff arteries, the kind that we don't want. Mm -hmm. What What is a normal blood pressure in a normal person that's normal weight, normal size? Yeah, th that normal has been adjusted a little bit and kind of what we think is dangerous has changed too in the past couple of years. Normal is 120 over 80, up to 130 over 85 is what we would tolerate as a pre-hypertension or, or, you know, um, type of person. Our guidelines now are one dependent on age. The older you are, the less aggressive we are with blood pressure management mm -hmm. because we've started to see one, that being really aggressive blood pressure doesn't make you live longer um, or prevent events. Uh, two, dropping your blood pressure and breaking the hips not good on you either. That's right. So mm -hmm. if you get that blood pressure too low, it mm -hmm. can make people where they're unstable. So if somebody's blood pressure is what? You start treating it. So if you're under the age of 75 um, without coronary disease, our target's 140 over 80. 140 uh, over 80. Not, yeah. And then if we're over the age of 75, we get you up to 150 for the systolic as a target. There's some newer data out there that if you have coronary disease, being really aggressive with that, getting your top number to 120 if you've had a heart attack or stroke before.